Hi guys, welcome to my new channel. So this video might be helpful to some of you if you're thinking about doing a bod pod assessment. If not, hey, it's a way for me to track like my progress from where I'm starting now to where I am in six months or a year. Um, so if you haven't heard of a bod pod assessment, it is a uh, way to track body composition, uh, body fat percentage, bone density, things like that, um, in order to kind of scale what your actual body fat percentage is rather than just say guessing off of a uh, like Pinterest diagram, which is what I used to do. So I have no judgment there. <laughs> in fact, my actual body percentage was way off compared to what like the little diagram show, mostly because I completely spaced that boobs are a thing and that really kind of skews it. Um, and so I just got home from doing my first bod pod analysis and was going to share with you what the percents I got were, I guess. Um, so for reference, I'm like five, seven and a half. So that's 67 and a half inches. Um, and also today's date is March 12th, so just for my frame of reference. Um, and overall, my body mass, so my weight was 163.792 pounds, so 163, 164, which I'm happy with because that's down like four or five pounds for the last couple months because I don't typically weigh myself frequently, so it's kind of a surprise when I do. Um, my percent of body fat was 40%, and hopefully by the next time I make a video like this, that number has changed. But hey, 40% isn't a horrible starting number, um, especially considering I used to not really work out at all. The last month or so I've been averaging like maybe three workouts per week. Um, so slowly making progress, um, which since my percent body fat is 40%, that would mean my fat free mass is 60%. I'm reading this off of my paper. So if you're wondering why I'm looking down so much, um, my fat mass was 65 pounds. My fat free mass was 98 pounds. So according to this little table of like body fat percentage versus like what that rating is, mine is in the excess fat category. So 30.1 to 40%, which indicates an ex excess accumulation of fat over time. Um, and the estimated resting metabolic rate is 1270. Um, so just based off of like the percent body fat I have and like body density, things like that, it estimates how many calories I burn in a day just at rest. Um, not including like, like working out would add to like calories to that, things like that. Um, and it gives me an example of what amount of calories I should eat per day based on my activity level. So if I was like sedentary, if I had low activity, high activity, things like that, um, in order to maintain the weight I am at. And so then the little information packet that I got with it answers questions such as, how do I lose excess body fat? How do I increase muscle mass? Um, so with losing uh, excess body fat, it would just be decreasing the amount of calories you intake in a day or increasing the amount of activity you do or both. Um, so like they recommend um, like having a deficit of 500 calories per day. So for example, eating 250 less calories and then working out um, 
for 250 calories worth of exercise in order to lose a healthy amount of weight at a time because you don't want to just go on a huge crash diet and work out a bunch and lose five pounds in three days. That would not be healthy at all. Um, and not only would it not be healthy, it wouldn't be maintainable. Um, so the main kind of goals I have with my activity level and diet and all of that are not just going on a crash diet or um, like excessively working out to the point of like not being able to maintain it. My kind of, or my goal with it is to have a diet and activity level that is maintainable over a long period of time and that isn't necessarily a diet or like anything short term. I want it to just be a lifestyle change. And overall that's been going well. I, in the past like a little under three months or so, I'm down five pounds. Um, or yeah, four or five pounds. Um, and I went from doing practically no exercise to an average of three times a week. And usually those are pretty short workouts, like a half hour each, just because my body is not necessarily used to working out or having a high amount of activity. So I don't want to burn myself out. Um, so for the most part, I've just been slowly getting into doing different types of workouts and trying not to fatigue my body too fast. Um, and the good thing about me personally, when I work out and get more into activities, uh, is my body then tends to crave healthier food and isn't wanting super like things that are really sweet or like just junky food. Um, and so that definitely helps because I didn't necessarily have the greatest diet either. It wasn't super unhealthy, but it wasn't the most healthy thing by any means. Um, and so yeah, hopefully like having these numbers will kind of continue to motivate me and be a good tracker of what my baseline was when I redo it in six months or a year, or however long. Um, and yeah, it'll be good to kind of see what my lifestyle changes have impacted in actual like quantifiable numbers in relation to what my body fat percentage is and things like that. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of my fitness journey or like things related to health, well-being, wellness, things like that, which is predominantly what this channel will be about, um, feel free to subscribe, like this video if you so choose, if you liked it. Um, and if you want to see what my after results are in however long, uh, just be sure to follow my journey and keep a watch out for that video. So thanks guys. Catch you next time.